Good morning, everyone. Looks like I'll be making bags of dirt today, at least for the first half of the day. I'm gonna tr really try to knock them all out. Heather went to Texas, and uh, this is her daily work, so I guess we gotta do it. All right, quick little intermission here. I am not done. I still have Blast, Impossible, and Discovery bags to make. There's not too many of each, um, so that shouldn't take too long. It's already going on noon. Um, if you're watching the time lapse right now, you can see the clock in the background possibly moving. Um, took a while, took a couple hours to do, what do I have here? Um, well, I filled up the rack here, plus these, that was 100 crumb bags. I had a total of 50 strike bags, 50 beginner bags. Right now I'm working on uh, impossible bags. Nice um, bonus bag here. I think I put 3.2 grams in that one. Um, here we have more expert bags and pretty much I think that's all I don't know maybe I'll knock out the discovery bags there's not too many of them so I could probably just knock those out and then um, if we have we should have enough for today's orders I hope um, if not I know we actually sold out of panning kits somebody bought so many panning kits so um, on the website, I have to update inventory. We're going to ship out a bunch of those. Um, there's a lot of orders. So, um, like I said, it's noon. Time to uh, time to pack orders, take it to the UPS store, and then we can start our workday. Well, I decided to go ahead and keep working until we finished up. So, I've got the entire shelf pretty much full. Um, I do have, I did leave a lot of this stuff like in its own box just because this is the new run and Heather's going to want to organize it her way. So why mess with this stuff when most of this is going to be shipped out in a minute anyway. I did not do packages yet, but I did make a whole bunch of pay dirt. That's a lot of work she does every day. And uh, yeah, it took me all morning. So I don't know, like the time lapse that I had running here, I don't think you're going to be able to see the clock. I think it's time to get a new clock that you can actually see the hands moving. This one here, you can only see these little thin tips and it doesn't really work that great. But I started at like 8 a.m. And so, yeah, six hours worth of time lapse. Just making bags of dirt. And now I got to go ahead and print out the orders. We'll uh, take those over to the UPS store and then we can start our work day. Seven fifteen. That's like yesterday, isn't it? Man, it's all expired. I don't drink it anyway. So here at the grocery store, I got to fend for myself. So of course get all the best stuff here cat toy too for mittens of course well mittens likes her new toy all right so i got this package uh at the ups store i picked it up along with a few other things but i know what this one is and i want to share it here uh, the first time i'm i'm seeing it the uh ceo of crowd made my merch company he contacted me and he said he he saw the new hats leaving the, leaving the facility. He wanted to know if I got it yet, and I did not until just now. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, there's a couple of them. What the heck? Oh, that's cool. I like the way it's, uh, it's like topographical. That's awesome. Oh, this one's camouflage. They're embroidered too, look at that. That's pretty high quality. Sweet. I'm gonna keep this one myself. Um, if, I'm, if anybody wants these two hats here, I think I like, I'm gonna keep this one for myself. And if you guys want a hat, I guess they're one size fits all. Um, I'll go ahead and give them away. 
just um, leave a comment on this video, and I'll pick a random person, and uh, we'll get we'll get you some hats. Um, United States only, please, because they're stupidly expensive to ship overseas. Yeah, I think they look good. I guess I should also mention that if you wanted to purchase one of these, you could probably link my merch store in the description here. But if I can't find it or don't do so, just go over to my main channel. And um, in the description for every one of my videos are merch links, and you can get them over there. I don't know how much they cost. I have no idea. They might not even be on there yet, so I don't know. So the other week, I, I built a couple cornhole boards here, and thing is, they're not finished. Uh, they don't have any stain or any kind of protective anything on them. They're just bare wood. So um, we were playing a couple games, and there's a few stains and stuff on there. So I'm going to have to get the sander out, 400 grit, knock off all the dirt, so for now, I think we're just gonna leave them natural. I got some poly for it. Whoops. All right, there we go. I've got them all sanded to 400 grit. I just put the orbital sander away. I'm just gonna by hand knock off some of these. I mean, I rounded it over and everything, but there's still some like, this is uh, these are regulation size. I even got the, regulation bean bags for it it's actually pretty fun but it was just a you know just a project i wanted to knock out we wanted some kind of game for the backyard and she was thinking darts and i was thinking lawn darts you remember lawn darts if you're under 40 you probably don't know what they are we had some lawn darts when i was uh, a kid and basically they're just large metal uh, darts that you throw straight up in the air. And then um, I'm not really sure. I was too young to remember what the rules were, but you pretty much had to dodge them or die. So yeah, they're banned now. Can't have anything nice anymore. All right, there we go. One coat of the, what is it? Water, water-based poly satin. So um, when I built these things, I was looking up all the regulations and making sure that, you know, it's exactly 12 inches from the top to the base after it's completed. Um, you know, nine inches down, 12 inches in, four feet by two feet. And uh, when I was doing that research, I didn't really think about the finish because when you throw the bag, it's supposed to like kind of slide, but not slide right off the board. So this is the stuff that is like the regulation paint or finish. So yeah, not too bad for just, these are just basically scraps of wood. These were two by fours and obviously the tops are, you know, nice birch plywood, but everything else is just scraps. All right, so I'm at Home Depot, just picking up a, uh, power strip for my setup bench and a piece of you know what is this quarter inch plywood so I can make that hood for the uh, dust collection for the miter saw and I walked past this uh, pine here and I saw this piece here it's full of bird's eye that's like that's super rare it's only nine bucks so I'm gonna buy this and maybe trim out a window or something with it that's crazy. Look at that. Too bad it wasn't like maple. All right, uh, now just installing the power strip here. It's gonna go like right under there. I'm drilling a hole through so I can plug it in over here. When I um, installed these outlets, I knew I should have went over a little bit further, but of course I didn't, so we gotta improvise. All right, there we go, plugged in. This is for my like my lights and soldering iron and stuff. Yeah, there we go. I also installed this, just like a shield 
So like when I'm standing here working, I'm not getting blared in the eyes. I still have to add a little piece there, but I was thinking about just leaving that so I can have light over here if I need it, right? All right. Um, I don't know what time it is. It is time to, it's time to quit, I think. All right, let's go ahead and just uh, look at some comments here. I already like read most of them, I think. Um, but we'll go ahead and sort by newest and we'll go from there. So 43 minutes ago, Donald Scott loved the way it's coming along. Thank you, Donald. I appreciate that. Uh, Jared says, nice to see you're getting back to normal. Yep. Um, you know, get, being sick kind of sucks. You know, it's kind of like a, a mild flu for like two or three days. I was like the walking dead, but after that I was just congested. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, of course, it wasn't like um, serious or anything. I didn't have to go to the hospital. I just kind of moseyed around the house and stuff and, and got some work done, basically. Not not a lot of work, but some. Um, yeah, Yosti, open up the Flying V. Yeah, man, I will. Um, once I get that drill press off of my workbench, after I get the miter bench table built and the new drill press stand built, then I will. Um, I'm in no big hurry. You know, I know a lot of you guys want to see it, and we'll we'll see it eventually. <laughs> maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, maybe next week. I don't know. Heather's not here, so I got stuck doing all that pay dirt today, and that's a lot of work. That's like an entire day. Like, it took me from the time I got in here at 8 a.m. or before 8 a.m. until about 2 p.m. to do all the pay dirt and I'm not even done. I didn't even do the discovery bags. So that was just, you know, everything other than discovery bags. Anyway, um, a proc says, Hey, Sean, I am based in Colorado as well. was just wondering, do you happen to do any repair work? I have a few guitars that I'd like to get checked out and I respect the hell out of your luthery skills. So I kind of told myself, um, once I get a full scale guitar repair shop, I mean, guitar luthier shop, like I finally have now, I was going to kind of not do repairs anymore. Um, the only thing, the only thing I'm going to miss about doing repairs is keeping my chops up, coming up with new solutions for different, all kinds of problems. And I did that for years, you know, I, for like, 20 years I was a guitar or 15 years something like that a long time I was a guitar repairman doing um I, I specialize in the woodworking and fret work and stuff and customizations I didn't really do too much as far as electronics and pickups because I don't know much about pickups and electronics I'm not that kind of a I guess I'm not a true luthier then because I'm a woodworker I'm not a electronics guy I still Whenever I wire up a guitar, I have to Google it to see how to do it. I have no idea how to wire guitars. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, sorry, I'm probably not going to be doing repairs. Maybe at some point in the future, but for right now, I'm going to focus on getting some guitars made. And we'll start there and we'll see where it goes. Uh Smigs shop is getting there. Cool that you're going to finish your old projects. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, that's another thing. Like when I opened that um that file on my computer and I saw that Manta design, I was like, oh yeah, I think I have one of those that I started building. And there it was in that box. And it was there for six years now since I moved to Colorado. It's been there since I packed up my shop in Pennsylvania. I, rem I remember jamming it in the box and, you know, and, and then uh, those two necks, I remember those as well. So it's, it's interesting to see them again. Um, and they're, you know, they're mid, they're halfway done, you know. So, um, yeah, definitely you should do that. I, I would say go ahead and do your old projects. Get them, knock them out, right? Uh, wake up says excellent because you got that heavy steel off the floor heavy steel off the floor I'm trying to think about what heavy steel you're talking about but oh he's talking maybe he's talking about the air compressor 
Great idea for the clamps. First time I walked into my seventh grade woodworking shop, I was amazed at the tools hanging up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the clamps, it's better to have them up off the ground because if not, they're going to end up in a corner and I'll just forget about, not forget about them, but they always get like sawdust and cobwebs for some reason, like always build up around the bottom of clamps. And this way, if they're not on the ground, they're up off the ground. There's no excuse for them to be dirty and that corner to not be useful, right? Remember, real estate in this shop is the number one thing that we have to try to preserve. All right. Whoops, I unliked your comment. Sean Pearson. Oh, man, can't wait to see the flying V. I used to own a Carina Explorer. Not original 58, but still pretty rare. Gold hardware and everything. Yep, it got stolen. Oh, yeah. And I still haven't recovered from the heartbreak. Yeah, I remember reading this, and that sucks. And the Carina ones. Um, I plan on building like a Gibson style i can't say gibson i mean i could build anything i want as long as i don't sell it but i was i would like to have an original like an old style gibson flying v that's why i bought that big black limba log that i don't know if you guys saw it i don't think i showed it on camera um but i bought you know a big board black limba and um when i was working up in new york my friend chris built a carina v but it was black limba and carina are the same wood, except that black limba has like mineralization in the wood. It has like black and green and yellow in it, whereas carina is more like a smooth brown or yellow. It's the same exact tree. It's just different. But um, that's what I plan on building with that carina or um, black limba uh, board that I purchased. All right. Tarnished Viking, good to see you are feeling better and the shop is coming together. The Randy Rhodes special. Um, sweet, I hope you got a custom shop with the Bigsby. So I don't like Bigsby's. Um, I did not get a custom shop. I just got the cheap $2,000 one or whatever they cost. It's like $2,000 range. And uh, yeah, it's not the Randy Rhodes one. It's the, uh, well, you'll see it. You'll see it in the video when I make it. I do like the uh, the the uh, flying V's with the old hardware, the you know the brass triangle or diamond, whatever you call it, Sh chevron. David Simon, getting closer every day. Can't wait to see the shop when it's complete. Honestly, after the last one, don't know why you'd buy another Gibson. I'm under the firm belief that you can only screw me once. I wouldn't have given them a second chance. Yeah. So and then I replied to this saying, Yeah. Well, I also buy golden pay dirt. Right, So I continue to buy golden pay dirt products and I'm always 100% sure I'll be ripped off each time. I do it for the show. So yeah, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep buying Gibsons and showing on camera what I find. If I get a good one, it's going to be on camera. If I don't get a good one, then we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're all going to see it together, right? So I mean, they say that you know any publicity is good publicity, but when I'm being on, I'm paying for these things. No, they're not buying, they're not sponsoring the show or nothing i purchased this with my own money i could say whatever i want about it and i'll be honest as always just like the pay dirts uh king loopy i have two steel string acoustics parts and wood and a couple of rosewood backsides rosettes for classical guitars laying around the garage somewhere guess i've been too busy and distracted i know what you mean about those half inch bandsaw blades just the wrong size for everything yeah yeah, that's the thing that I kind of fear. I don't want to have pieces of stuff laying around. I want everything that I own to have a spot. If it doesn't have a shelf or like a dedicated spot, I'm getting rid of it. I don't need, I don't want stuff. I want less stuff. That's that's the whole that's the whole game for me. Yeti Mountain Trading, cool watching your workout. All the kinks looking good, brother. Thank you, Yeti. GDNS, I'm glad to see you are feeling better back to work. No, it's hard for someone like you to take downtime for any reason. The Manta will be sick when it's done. Yeah, I think it'll be sick when it's done. I, I think so too. Um, I picture that thing flat black with like a satin finish on it, just black. Black hardware. I ordered a black um, hip shot bridge for it yesterday. Um, that's just one of the guitars. I'm probably going to do a couple more get a couple more up to that point, get a couple more necks to that point, and then just 
do all the same steps to each guitar and then I'll have six guitars at the end. I don't know if I'm going to do six at first. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't know. I'll just, I'll do what I want as always. But yes, thank you. I am feeling better and it does, it is rough to have some downtime. Now I feel like I got to go do twice as much now to catch up from those past two weeks, right? John Pierce, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Start with start the day with one goal in mind, but as the project gets rolling, other stuff needs yeah. That's the same thing that happened today. Like is like I woke up, I'm like, all right, we're gonna get uh we're gonna get that work that uh, miter bench done. <laughs> nope. I went to Home Depot like three times and Ace Hardware once and had to make pay dirt and you know it kind of sucks when Heather's not here. If if she wasn't around, if she wasn't here, I wouldn't even have the pay dirt company. I would probably have just sold the business or something like that. I don't know. Um, it's it's a lot of it's. I mean, I don't want to hire anybody because I don't want to have to deal with another person, right? I don't. I like working alone. If I can't do it myself, I really don't even want to do it. You know. But Heather, I, I kind of gave that business to Heather. I told her, I don't want to do it anymore. I don't have time for it. If you want to do this and have income for, from it, it's yours, right? So as long as she follow, if, if she's using my, my name on it, I want it to be to my standards. You know, I want, there's like, I could show you, well, I probably won't show you guys the secret recipes for all of my pay dirts, but every bag has a different recipe, right? Uh, Joni, that is a nice clamp rack. It is so nice to be able to customize things for the way you work. I also like the little bar so that they don't swing. I hope this Gibson has done better than the last. That's a lot to spend and not be happy. Yeah, um, it's it's. I'm not worried about the, the money for it. That's all uh, tax write-off stuff anyway. So I really have to buy more so I could write it off for at the end of the year. So Because um, it's part of the business, right? Um, I don't, and, and I'm also happy to buy crappy guitars and show them up close on camera for everybody to see before they decide to purchase one themselves, right? Um, yeah, it's my pleasure to go ahead and purchase that stuff. I don't care. And, uh, yeah, um, nice clamp rack. Yes, I agree. And that little bar, yes, it does help a lot to keep it from swinging around. MS. Hello there, MS. Thanks for always commenting. Um, all right, we got a couple more comments. Oh, yeah, we're almost done. Clint says, hey, Shane, workshop's looking great. Um, let's see. I know by the time I send you this message, you will probably already have time. Oh, yeah, this guy, um, I already commented back. He said, I'll already have a home for the drill press. Maybe you can do it the same as the saw and recess the drill press into the bench along the saw. Not sure if that's feasible, just a thought. So yeah, that's not feasible just because I need to be able to put 12 foot boards flat up against that wall. And anything in the way is not gonna allow me to do that. So the drill press is probably gonna go between uh, the air compressor and the dust collector. Probably right right in there or over here next to the clamp rack. I haven't decided yet. Brush it off. At 731. You built a ghost, so paint it. What is it? What did I build? You know, that's some... Okay, so he's talking about the manta body. You built a ghost, so paint it in ghost black. It will be black. See through black stain so you can still see the hidden layers of wood grains underneath. Or how mad would it be to stain the wood in a deep red and then do yeah so <clears throat> he has all these cool names like clash blood dark raven flesh clash modeled mystery manta metal so yeah he's got some cool names there um basically all my guitars that i build here that are not exotic woods like exotic wood tops they're gonna be black Unless they're mahogany, I was thinking about, or the black limba, I would like to see that, you know. Um, but like ugly woods, like alder and poplar and um, what else? Ash is actually pretty cool looking. There's You can really see the grain in it. Poplar and alder are like two of the cheaper woods. 
but they're also ugly, but they sound really good. Like Fender Stratocasters are made out of, a lot of them are made out of alder, right? Um, so I'm going to continue using those woods and I'll just paint them black. I just like black. I could paint them any color, I guess, but uh, I like flat black. That's what I like. So if somebody wants another color, I could probably do that. Um, but you'll really have to twist my arm, I think. I'm building these guitars for me, not for customers. So like if basically if the customer doesn't like what I build, then too bad, go somewhere else. That's kind of like how I'm doing it. I don't I really don't care. They're going to be great for me, and if somebody else wants them, they'll probably be available after twisting my arm. Not a very good salesman, but I don't care. I'm not doing it for money. Uh Peladamo Heath, you Sound like you're feeling better. Nice to see some guitars laying around the shop. Please hurry up and get get another clamp. My OCD can't stand it. Yeah, I'm, I already ordered one. Don't worry, it's it's already shipped, so we're good. I, I got the clamp. I couldn't wait either, so got the clamp coming. Peasy Doc, how could you contain yourself from not opening a brand new guitar? I don't care how many you have. Opening a new guitar is better than being a kid at Christmas. Yeah, so... uh I'll, I'll open it as soon as I can. I don't want to open the thing and not have it on the bench. And I don't want to... That drill press is super heavy. I'm not going to be moving it around. I'm just... The next time I move it, it's going to the spot where it's supposed to be permanently. And uh, that's pretty much where I'm at with that. But don't worry. That video will be coming. Nose Maddox coming along beautifully from the tomatoes to the clamp rack. Keep doing the things. Thanks, man. All right, guys, that's all I got for today. Um, that's a solid 16 minutes of talking plus probably 10 minutes of video or something like that. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.